the this circuit is applied to get the a stable vibrations through the 555 timer now the very important thing is that the threshold pin of the upper comparator and the trigger pin of the lower comparator are attached at the same place that means whatever the voltage at the threshold pin the same will be at the trigger pin okay let's we let we start the working when initially power is turned on let the power is turned on and uh, before that there is no voltage across the capacitor now what happens when the power is turned on trigger pin voltage is uh, you know it is below vcc by 3 okay that mean the negative terminal of the lower comparator is below vcc by 3 and its plus terminal is it is above then the vcc by 3 so that makes the lower comparator output high because uh, plus terminal is at high voltage so the output mean output of the lower comparator is high and what happens then it sets the flip flop and output of the 555 chip becomes high but you know like the set is high so then q is high but q bar will be low now the point number 2 as the q bar is low this makes the transistor q1 off because there is no base current okay because there is no base current now what happens then capacitor c1 starts charging with the with the supply vcc through r1 and r2 as the capacitor c1 starts charging the voltage you know starts increasing across the capacitor now what happens when the voltage uh at the at the pin number 2 trigger pin becomes vcc by 3 because capacitor is charging let at some time the voltage at here becomes vcc by vcc by 3 then lower comparator you know lower comparator output becomes low because just uh, when the pin 2 crosses the voltage vcc by 3 then the negative voltage becomes higher than the positive the output of the lower comparator becomes low and uh, on the other hand at the same time upper comparator is also low but you know flip flop output remain the same when both the inputs of the flip flop is low output uh, whatever they are they exist the same as the previous output remains as the previous output was uh, output of 555 timer was high so now it remain high now what happened the capacitor is still charging charging and when it gets the voltage above 2 by 3 vcc you know uh, this voltage is applied both the negative of the lower comparator as well as positive of the upper comparator so when the voltage at the upper comparator just exceeds to by 3 vcc you know what happen the upper comparator you know uh, the output of the upper comparator becomes high so it becomes uh, its output becomes high if the uh, if the output of upper comparator becomes high mean re it resets the flip flop reset you know the meaning of the reset reset mean now 
the q becomes uh, low and q bar becomes the high q bar becomes high I mean the output of 555 timer becomes low as soon as the output of the 555 gets low now what happened because the q bar is high high I mean base current is uh, there is base current so the transistor q1 q1 transistor becomes on and what happened now the capacitor c1 starts discharging through uh, through the transistor q1 okay uh, through the uh, c1 starts discharging through q1 uh, through q1 as well as through r2 through r2 also now as the voltage starts going down and it comes below the 2 by 3 vcc so when it comes below 2 by 3 vcc of the upper comparator you know then the upper comparator output becomes low and uh, lower is uh, output of the lower comparator is already low so both are low but if the both are low the previous states exist the sf flip flop remains in the previous state as the both the comparators are low now as the discharging is continue and adds at some time when it reaches at vcc by 3 you know that is also it is that the trigger pin 2 and when it just uh, uh, going below vcc by 3 what happens the lower comparator the output of the lower comparator becomes high that means set high that means q high and q bar low q bar low mean the output is again high so output of the 5 5 timer again becomes high and uh, transistor because q bar is low transistor again becomes off and transistor is off so if the transistor is off uh, so again the capacitor starts charging Okay, capacitor start charging. This char charging and discharging of the capacitor continues and a rectangular oscillating output wave form is generated. While capacitor is getting the charge, the output of 555 is high. While capacitor is getting the charge, the output of 555 is high. This is important. And while capacitor is getting the discharge, output of 555 is low so this is called a stable mode because none this is called a stable because none of the state is stable and 555 automatically interchanges state from high to low and low to high so that's why it is called free running multi vibrator now in the waveform it is shown the time T1 for high and time T1 for low. Uh, it is, uh, you know, at the pin number 3. At pin 2 and 6, they are uh, connected and uh, there is shown the charging and discharging of the capacitor through the registers. Thank you.